Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Easter to everyone. So, back for another Dave Blades, nothing but the toys. Been at the boot sale this morning, and I've got a couple of little bits that turn up in the post that I'm going to show you as well. So, on walking around this morning, I'm just going to throw these out, run, rummage through a little figure box, and I found this little dude. I don't know whether he's like one of the wrestlers in my pocket. I am not too sure. Um, I have no idea, but... Look pretty cool. So I've got him and I've got this one. This one I do recognise. I'm pretty sure I've seen him before on there as well. Not in bad nick. A little bit grubby. Needs a bit of a clean. And a little Power Ranger. Blue Ranger. There. I didn't know whether our good old pal Mr. Aaron at Empire Toys needs a little mini Blue Ranger to complete a set or something. So I picked that one up as well. All in all. The three of them set us back uh, the total sum of 50p. So I thought, oh, what does 50p get you nowadays? So yeah, picked up them little three bits there. Need a good clean. So I put them to one side. Um, first walk round, I managed to pick up the PS4 version of Wolfstein or Wolfenstein. Yeah, Wolfenstein. Do like a good old uh, sort of shoot em up game uh, in really good nick. Obviously, because it's been encased in that, the disc is real clean. So, yeah, really happy with that. So, yeah, picked that one up for the gaming collection. Picked up in a charity shop uh, the other week, uh, series one and two of this. So, I found this complete season three uh, of Sherlock, uh, 50p. Discs is, disc is in really good nick. Got both bits and the little card on there. So yeah, couldn't resist that. So that's going in the uh, collection as well. Moved on to the CDs. Found a guy selling these. These were uh, a pound each. So I've got Aerosmith, Get a Grip. This is for the work van. Got to listen to these on the, on the way to work. So yeah, Aerosmith, Get a Grip. Great album. Uh, another great album. I love the lads. Uh, Green Day. Been following them since 94. So I've got the American Idiot album there. All in really good nick. The discs are great. Uh, another cool album. I've got their Green Days a Warning album. Again, disc in real good nick on that. So, yeah, all these going in the van. And then this one won't be. This is the single to Basket Case, which has a few extra songs on there. Um, on that. But, yeah, case is a little bit tatty, but I quite like that because it makes it look proper retro. Well, that is from 94, so I suppose you can class it as a little bit retro now. So, yeah, picked up them four albums there for a pound. Uh, another guy had these uh, PS3 games, obviously. Picked up a PS3 the other weekend. Um, I did put that in a video, didn't I? I'm not too sure. Uh, but, yeah, managed to get myself a copy of Battlefield 3. These have all got... Uh, manuals and the discs are ultra clean on that so picked up a little bit of Battlefield 3 uh, Call of Duty Black Ops there manual and disc again really clean so another cool one do like the old uh, third person shoot em up games uh, and then couldn't leave this behind a bit of Platinum Edition Grand Theft Auto 5 is that? no that's Grand Theft Auto 4 um, map Manual, disc, really clean. So, yeah, got them free for a fiver. So, which I thought weren't too bad, but they're going to go in the collection anyway. So, happy days with that. Uh, continuing on my little Green Day uh, theme, I found this uh, hidden amongst a load of DVDs, which is a Green Day uh, collector's box set. Uh, as you can see there on the side there, it's got... Green Day um, edition and it's got loads of like hidden footage and bits and pieces like that of the lads playing various shows on there, everything, the discs are mint inside and it's quite, I'll actually take it out actually because it's got quite a cool little lenticular um, sort of display on the front of that one which I thought was pretty cool Billy Joe, Mikey and Trey there the boys and then uh, the Ultimate Review there, which has got Green Day Live, Rarities, the Ultimate Critical Review, 
uh, and another ultimate critical review uh, oh, ultimate critical review on American Idiot and the critical review on Dookie two of their great albums so yeah pick that up that was three pound I thought it was from like one of them house clearance guys just got loads of stuff there so I thought yeah I'm having that for three quid happy days um, then I picked up this PS3 uh, collector's edition box which has a little fancy opening like that and it comes inside everything it's all really Assassin's Creed Revelations look how shiny that book is let's have a little look see what's actually in this let's have a little look oh yeah just uh, pictures and pictures and artwork on Obviously, a lot of the characters in the game. Let's have a little shafty through, see what else there is. Uh, Assassin's Creed there. Or oh, one of the Assassins. Some great artwork there. So, yeah, got that. And then I think you get a card. Or the, uh, whatever that is. Assassin's Creed Embers. And then, obviously, the game. I was a bit stupid because I didn't check whether the game was in there. Um... Even still got the sales receipt, so we'll have a quick look. Make sure, yeah, lovely. A little bit of dust on there, but we can always clean it up. So I don't know whether this goes in a certain way. And pop that in like that, and pop the book in like that. So yeah, I picked that up. That was ten pound, and in the chat also threw in the first. Uh, Assassin's Creed game there. Um, oh there, disc really clean. Instruction booklet. But yeah, definitely two for the collection. Uh, on that one. Um, one of the first stalls I came to, this is for my, my beautiful little princess, my little girl. Uh, she's Barbie mad. But these are all like kind of a bit like retro vintage. They're from 96, these Barbie ones. Um, I'll just brush all that to one side, but I managed to get her. She's mad into like fairies and princess, princesses and stuff. So this is the winged fairy version. You can't really see her too well. She's hiding down the bottom there. Um, but yeah, from 96 and I paid all working apart from the little clip. Oh, look, there's a better picture of her on the back there. There's a little clip that works behind her there. It's got a break in it, but... In all intents and purposes, the wings will probably just be on her and then taken off. So, yeah, I paid £10 for that little bad boy. I thought which was pretty, pretty good. So we got that, but I think the steel that was on there is uh, this little lot, um, which I've got. She runs out of um, outfits, like the cheaper Barbie dolls uh, that you get from B&M and that. Their clothes rip. But these are like proper official ones. Got a couple of hairbrushes, a little furry uh, coat in there. But yeah, look, I've got loads of them. Another outfit, some little skirts for her. And then some proper, and these are proper Barbie ones as well. Look, a pair of shoes and a bit like Belle the Princess on there. Sort of bit, don't know, Dorothy from Wizard of Oz? No, she, is she blue or red? I don't know. Who knows? And then got that one little kind of like a little Bo Peep one with an umbrella white gown, she could probably use that as a wedding dress uh, this was the original one I was just going to pick up for her it's got like a tiara gold handbag, gold shoes big long dress on there but yeah I have no idea what's in it no one there with a pair of shoes and we go on and on <laughs> and yeah nice little sparkly one she'll be digging these, she'll be loving them but yeah, all proper vintage. Well, from 96 anyway. And yeah, got the whole little lot of that. Uh, 12 quid. So I thought that was like the bargain. Because you get five of these outfits, five or six uh, of the new ones in Smiths uh, for about 35, 36 quid. So yeah, a right steal on that. Um, anyway, more toys found this and missed out on the Star Wars that he had and the He-Man and the Turtles got there too late 
but he still had these little box of treasures. Bit of Bucky O'Hare. So went round here. I see him the first time and I thought, well, no one's interested in them. And then I went back there the second time. We struck up a deal. So I've got nine figures here. Um, I paid £20 for them. Really does need a, uh, a clean. Uh, just over £2 a figure. Um, bit play warm, but I think once they're cleaned up, I think they're going to look a hell of a lot better. So I've got a Toad Borg, which I thought was pretty cool. Just the usual paint rubs on some of the brighter spots. So we've got a, a nice Toad Borg there. We've got ourselves a, I uh, believe his name's Bruiser the Baboon. Uh, this one's probably the most play worn. Uh, big dude, as you can see, like lots of silver rubbing on there. Um, but overall, I think once he's cleaned up, he's not going to look too, too sad at all on that. So we got him as well. And we got uh, Willie Do It on there. Not bad from the front. Quite a bit of rub on the back of his head. But I'm going to do my usual snapshot of before and after on all of these. And then we're going to give him a good old clean um, and see what we get. So, yeah, obviously got to get the accessories for these uh, for these boys. Um, who else did we get? We got a rather... Oh, no, look at that. Didn't check him. Gutted. Missing the damn towel. How gutting is that? Because he's not in bad condition. Oh, that's a bit of a sod, isn't it? So, obviously, you can go into a custom fodder box. So, yeah, a bit gutted about that, because he's one of the good ones, he is. Um, we have a Bucky O'Hare, very, very grubby, very grubby, but I managed to get him with the gun, which I thought was pretty cool, got the cape, the ears, he's in not bad condition, cleaned up, he's going to look pretty smart. We got a uh, Toad Marshall, or Air Toad Marshall, not in bad nick, a few little paint rubs, bit discoloration, but again, comes with a gun on that so yeah a little bit of paint right on his lip there but i think we'll get that off so yeah just to have the weapon i think makes up for our negator missing his towel uh i think possibly everyone's favorite which is a very grubby uh dead eye duck i think once he's cleaned up i'll tell you what he's gonna look pretty smart actually because he's got very little paint rub probably on his knuckles but yeah we all do love a dead eye duck. Get the weapons for him, and yeah, another one for the collection. Two quid, or just a little over two, two twenty for nine feet. So you can't really grumble at that. Um, and we do have uh, one of my favourites here, which is uh, Dog Star. Uh, again, a little bit grubby, a little bit paint worn, uh, as you can see there. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. For two quid. Can't really grumble. I don't think anyway. And then we have another another Bucky who's very grubby. I mean, look at the state of that cape. Very, very grubby. So yeah, these are gonna go in for a bit of a bit of a clean. Which will happen at some point during the week. Let's twist his ear around. There you go. Ah, that's better. So yeah, very good. Very happy to find him. I would have liked to have seen the um Turtles that he had, apparently all vintage. Um, but they had the weapons, and that's the that's the key thing. So yeah, a little pick up on them, little monster in my pocket wrestlers. I think I'll throw them in there. Um, and then a little uh, postal thing. I got these three for five pound plus postage, and ah, just realised. Uh, he's a little bit wibbly wobbly because so I think he's been taken apart because this is supposed to be law and order. I'm getting a bit closer here, see if I can hold him up. He's a little bit wibbly on the old head. I've just noticed the pelvis is wrong. So he's kind of like a little bit of a beta figure. But I thought because the crotch... Uh, wasn't broken. I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab him. A little bit of paint wear, but we shall do something with him, I think. 
So yeah, we picked up uh, Law and Order. Normally comes with the hat, the gun, and the little uh, dog on there. So another one for the for the poem. But I was interested in this guy because this is Frostbite, who drives the snowcat. But just look at how white he is on that. He is very white, which is and no broken crotch. And he's also the same round the back. No yellowing at all. His gun is relatively easy to pick up, so that is why I picked him up. A little bit of paint rub on the top of the glasses, but apart from that, I thought, yes, I'm having him for a couple of quid. So, yeah, another decent uh, figure there. And then I picked up a, a very beaten uh, battle armour Skeletor as well, as you can see there with his hand. If I can just pull his hand into some sort of focus. Chewed. Very bad. But as we know, we can swap that out for a, a decent arm. His face, as you can see there, is a little bit, uh, well, I'd say bloodied from a, a, a right old fisty cuff with um, He-Man. But I reckon I'll be able to clean that off. Maybe even touch the paint up. Legs are pretty good. Very dirty, very grubby. But the chap did say his armour doesn't work. But I just tried it a minute ago. And I did. <laughs> I did get it to work. And it doesn't now. Now that's odd. I did literally just get it to work a minute ago. But um, yeah, obviously his armour is supposed to go around to there. But it just keeps spinning uh, on there. Voila. Hey, eh? Told you it worked. So, yeah, a bit temperamental, but I mean, Jesus, from 81, 82, 83. So, yeah, a little bit grubby, but we'll give him a clean up, get rid of that arm. We'll get a decent arm on there. And uh, get him a sword. Well, I think we've got a decent battle armor skeleton there. And for a couple of quid, I couldn't uh, turn that bad boy down. So, yeah, that was my little um, haul today, folks. Um, I shall be posting that up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let you carry on and enjoy your Easter eggs. Happy Sunday, people. Take care.